Today's lesson is the second presentation for the trinomial cube. Please stay tuned to the very end of the video so that you will understand how to use the diagrams that I've presented here. You will learn how the cube got its name and the algebraic formula for the cube. The trinomial cube is a concrete, real-life representation of an algebraic formula for three unknown variables. The term trinomial comes from tri, modern Latin, meaning three, and nomial, Greek, meaning parts. In this case, we have named the unknown variables a, b, and c. Basically, the unknown measurement of one edge that is repeated throughout the cube is variable a. The second unknown measurement of an edge that is repeated throughout the cube is variable b. And the third unknown variable represented by the measurement of an edge is c. In the first lesson, for the trinomial cube, you learned how to lay the parts of the trinomial cube out on the trinomial cube layout control card, as shown here in this photo. Please feel free to use screenshots of the next three diagrams after you have watched the lesson presentation. Hello, I'm Saladeh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, it's the second lesson for the trinomial cube. You will learn the names of the parts, the reason why we use the trinomial cube layout control card, and the algebraic formula for the cube. To understand today's lesson, you will already have worked with multiplication, the squaring and cubing chains, and the binomial cube lessons one, two, and three. If you need a review of the binomial cube lessons, please go back and look for the lessons on my YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. In lesson one for the trinomial cube, I showed you how to remove and place the parts on the trinomial cube layout control card. To save time, I have already laid them out for this lesson. You will notice that there are three variables for the trinomial cube. A variable is an unknown measurement of an edge within the cube. We will name these variables A, B, and C. I have the labels for the trinomial cube parts here in this small basket. Because you remember how we named the parts of the binomial cube, I will lay the labels out while you think of the names then I will match them to the parts so you can check your guesses.
Can you see which parts might be which labels? We know that this is A times A times A. So we call this piece A cubed. A cubed is written like, where is it? Here we go, that. Little pieces. This piece is A squared B. This piece is also A squared B and A squared B. Let's find the labels. A squared B, A squared B, A squared B. This piece is a squared C. This piece is also a squared C, and this piece is also a squared C. This is how we write a squared C. A squared C. A squared C. There we go, a squared c. This piece is b squared a, but we don't say b squared a, we say a b squared. This is a b squared, and this is a b squared. a b squared, a b squared. Here's the label for a b squared. Another label for AB squared, and another label for AB squared. This piece has all three dimensions. It's got A and B and C. This is ABC. 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 And this is ABC. A, B, C, 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 and A, B, C. This piece is C squared A, but we don't say C squared A, we say A, C squared. A squared, C squared. A C squared, A C squared, A C squared, A C squared, and this piece, you can see, has all three dimensions the same, and this we call B, so this is B times B times B, or B cubed. And this is the label for B cubed. This is B squared C. B squared C. B squared C. B squared C. This is C squared B, but we don't say C squared B, we put B first, so B C squared. This is B C squared. B C squared. B, C squared, B, C squared, and this one, of course, is for the last one, which is the third dimension, C times C times C, which is C cubed. Now, if you remember from the binomial cube, we added them together to create the trinomial cube, or the binomial cube formula. Today, we're going to do the trinomial cube formula. So we have a cubed plus three a squared b plus three a squared c plus three a b squared plus 
One, two, three, four, five, six, A, B, C, plus three, A, C squared, plus B cubed, plus three, B squared, C, plus 3BC squared plus C cubed. And when we write the trinomial formula, it looks like this. A plus B plus C cubed equals A cubed plus 3A squared B, 1, 2, 3, plus 3 a squared C, one, two, three, plus three AB squared, one, two, three, plus six ABC, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus three AC squared, one, two, three, plus B cubed, plus three B squared C, one, two, three, plus 3bc squared, 1, 2, 3, plus c cubed. And that's how you get the trinomial cube formula. In the third lesson for the trinomial cube, I will show you how to input numeric values to the variables for the algebraic formula, explain how to calculate the formula, and encourage you to practice using it with your own variables. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel to see more lesson presentations. Thanks for watching.